CS50 courses are offered by Harvard University. The flagship CS50X is a comprehensive introduction to computer science and programming. It covers a wide range of topics from programming basics to algorithms, Python, web and SQL. The course is taught by Dr. David Malin, who is delivering charismatic personality will make the course all the more engaging. CS50's other courses include Python, SQL, web development, AI and games. And let's not forget cybersecurity. It is sometimes recommended to take CS50 Python before CS50X. You though can take them whenever order you like. And you want to know the best part? CS50 is completely free. To enrol in CS50, you access the edX website at edX.org. We search for a course. In this case, I'm going to choose CS50 Python. So click on the enroll button. And now to register, we enter our full name, our email address, and I'm just selecting a username. So enter a password, check your country or region, see if you need to change it, and then click on create account for free. You can enter your highest education completed if you wish. I'm just going to skip for now. You can choose to earn a certified certificate from edX if you wish, but I'm just going to select the free account. I'm just going to go OK and skip everything for now. You can set up a weekly learning goal if you wish and you get an email reminding you to study. And now we're ready to start our course. As you can see, we're at the introduction lecture to the course. If I was to go to the course index, you see that we have instruction, conditions, loops of all the different modules and all different lectures throughout the course. So back here, it's instruction. We see that we have slides up here we can go to. Click next. We have transcripts here. Now we have the next video, which is uh, both functions and variables, and that is somewhat longer. That's one hour and forty-five for this one. And we have the lecture notes, slides, and source code, and these are the problem sets we're going to have to attempt and submit. So, for instance, we have indoor voice. This explains here what you need to do about creating your directories creating your code and up here this is the problem they want us to solve so that's the same then with the rest of them and that will be the same with the rest of the conditions and the loops and the different lectures throughout the course so you've all the notes transcripts and the problem sets so the way the assignments work is take indoor voice for example this is our assignment here that we have to complete and as I said this shows us how to do it and this is an example of it. To test it we need to link our github account and we submit it to github for checking and it will come back with all greens if it's correct and some reds if there's errors. We then submit it to CS50 again via github. So first of all we need to set up a github account. So we go to github.com and in the top corner here we click sign up and we enter our email and create a password. So we create a username. Click yes or no for product announcements. We verify the puzzle. And now we create our account. And now a code will be sent to the email we signed up with. You can fill this stuff out if you want or I'll just click continue. And I'm going to choose a free account. 
So now we have GitHub set up. So now that we're in our dashboard, we can create a repository. We go up here to settings and add a photograph. And we can just generally explore what GitHub has to offer. Now that we have our GitHub account set up, we need to go back to our week zero problem set. And up here we see submit this form. And this will link our GitHub account to our CS50 account. And we have to authorize CS50. I'm going to click on the form. For me now, it's self populated. And it should be the same for yourself. But if not, put in your email, your name, and your edX username. Click that you understand. And then we enter the GitHub account that we just, our username for the GitHub account we just set up, or the one you have already. Answer a few questions here. And then understand, understand the policies. When you have all that filled in, click Submit. So now that we've done that, we we'll make our way back again to problem set zero. So we've done this step up here. So now we need to log into cs50.dev. And this is a cloud version of Visual Studio, or VS Code as it's known. And so this is going to provide us with our own bit of code space. So we do our assignments in this code space. And this is where we submit to 50 and we check with 50. That will grade our assignments for us. So let's do that. So here we're going to authorize Visual Studio Code and that's going to link with our GitHub. So we're setting up our code space which is our own little virtual environment. So now this is our VS Code space. It's our own little space where we complete our assignments. So we can back up in sync and we can choose the look we want. I'm going to click Dark High Contrast and I'm going to close out of there. So this is our terminal window and this is where we write our code up here. So now we go back to our problem set zero. It says here, once the code space is loaded, close any welcome tabs. We've done that. So we execute update 50 in our code space terminal. And if, we, and if prompted, we click rebuild now. So here. And I'm going to try to paste in here. So I'm going to click allow. And enter. And click OK to rebuild. So we're back to our console. So the next step is probably the hardest bit we got to do, but remember we only have to do it once. You got to go to cs50.readthedocs.io forward slash github. Now I'll leave this link in the description. We're going to set up an SSH and it's a secure connection between our terminal and github. This is going to be used to check and submit our assignments for grading. So here we're going to execute SSH keygen. I'll just copy that. And then we're prompted, we're going to save the key. So we're just going to hit enter. So then we'll be prompted for a passphrase. Now, if we only use our GitHub account for CS50, which I'm going to do, then there's no need to input a passphrase, just hit enter. So let's do this. So I move it up a bit. So I'm going to right click and paste it in. So enter. I don't know why that happened, but it's going to click yes. So I'm going to just skip the passphrase, I'm going to hit enter, not enter one, and do it again. So now we go back to our documents. So now here at number four, we're going to execute this command. We're just going to copy this. So I've cleared the terminal, just to make it easier. And I'm going to paste that in. And now we have our SSH key. So we're going to copy our SSH key. So this says, open this GitHub link and new SSH key. So our title is going to be CS50. And I'm going to paste the key and add SSH key. Go back to our docs. 
Go down to number nine to the SSH command. Copy it. And I'm going to paste it in here and enter. It tells us we successfully authenticated. So we go back to the docs and you see number 12 here. That means that we've done it correctly. So now we should be able to check 50 and submit 50. So that's us all set up with our SSH keys. And that's probably the hardest bit we've got to do apart from our assignments. So if we were to go to our terminal and for instance, I was going to code indoor that pi, which would be our first assignment, which I've done here already. So now I'm going to check 50, which I've copied from the assignment down here, how to test our code it's in the assignment. So I'm going to try this just to make sure our link is correct and that our SSH is working okay. So we got this error stating that our username and personal access token are not correct. And please go to submit.cs50.io. So we go to the website and click authorize CS50. So now we'll try it again to make sure our SSH link is working correctly. There we have it, all green, so it worked the second time. So it must be just that we need to reauthorize CS50. So this is something we'll do for all our assignments. After we do our assignment, we'll check 50 to make sure that we get all greens. And if we do, then we'll submit it to CS50. And that's where it gets graded, and that's where our score comes from. And that's how we get our certificate in the end of our course after we complete it. So there we have it. We had a quick introduction to CS50. We had a look around our CS50 environment. We created a GitHub account. And we connected that account to our CS50 account so that we can submit our assignments. So now, why don't you try an assignment? And if you want to do the Python course, then feel free to give it a go. And if you have any issues with your assignment, have a look at this video where I walk through all the assignments starting at Indoor Voice.